We have Richard Simmons here. He's coming in. It's nice and early. It's 6 12 in the morning, and it's nice of you to show up. Thanks a lot, man. I appreciate that. Yeah, we're going to bring in Richard Simmons now. There he is. Oh, that's Kevin. Sorry. I thought that was. Oh, that's who you thought I was? Morning, Richard. In a good mood? Oh, he's in a great mood. He's in there, he's in there ragging on Imus. He's in a great mood. Hello, Mr. Hi, how are you? Good, how have you been? What's in here? Oh, 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 are you? you oh, got, I love you got this. In your step this morning. I love this picture of Howard. Oh, wow. Oh, I just love this picture. Look at this one. God. Well, I like this one too, but this one, look at this. This is awesome. Doesn't it? Wow. Here's another one. Look at this one. I like wow. this one better. Huh? I like this one better. Well, but this one shows sort of his eyes. See? But they look evil. Well, what seems to be the problem? <laughs> ah, Richard. Hi, I just love this photo. It's all yours. No, I can't give it to you. Come on in. Why? Well, Richard Simmons is here, and I'm thrilled. Uh, as you know, many years Richard was uncomfortable coming in here and now has changed his mind, and I couldn't be more thrilled to see Richard Hi. Simmons. There he is. Hi. How he's are you? Lipstick, Welcome. Lipstick, I think. What do you mean he's wearing lipstick? I thought his lips looked awfully pink. I'll ask him if he's wearing lipstick. Maybe that's a new thing for guys. <laughs> Hi. Hey. You look great. Look at you. Robin good. thinks you're wearing lipstick. I don't. I don't wear anything. If I wasn't makeup? morbidly obese and atrophied, uh -oh, I'd get he up. Comes. Hi. Uh, he's saying hi to Fred. How are you doing, Mike? Nice to see you. Everything good? Saying hi to Benji. Hi. Benji lost. How much weight did you just lose? Oh, uh, Richard will love him. How are you? Hi, good morning. Benji kissed Richard on the cheek and I Richard pulled some, away. You want some Wouldn't moonshine you? maple syrup? Give me a little hug first. I haven't seen you. Artie's up to 300 pounds. Richard. 297. Artie is up to 297. How are you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? He's fat. I'm back in town, and I'm and I'm working. Take a seat here. Would but you like to sit next to me? Get on a no, mic. I want to say hello to Howard. No, but no, no, I don't want, want to say hello. Say hello. He spends his whole <laughs> so time funny. here Those saying hello. So I never heard of them. Aren't they great? I never heard That's them before. That's your, uh, give me a hug. Hey, how you doing? How are you? Nice to see you. Good to see you. Hi, Robin. Uh, don't come in here, Richard. Now I'm going to smell like Richard sit the rest down. of the day. Sit down. Sit <laughs> down. No, no, sit Darling. down. It's uh, not funny. No, no, come in. You're not funny. <laughs> sit down. We're trying to do a serious interview. <laughs> Could those shorts be any shorter? Those are short shorts. He's but wearing hot pants. Ones. It's, I know. I, I, it's the same ones. It's the exact Can same ones. Question? Do you wear a jock strap underneath your shorts? Yes, I you do. Do, do you, a jock or an underwear? Do you wear underwear or like a like a like a, a supporter? supporter. Because I don't supporter. see your balls or cock. No, it's here. I, you know, well, it's what happened to your ass? What did they do to you? I was I fell in the airport in Let Dallas. Let me see that again. No, to it's short. too painful. It's too painful. I was in the airport. Wow. I was going to go teach a class, and I went to the bathroom, and it was water on the floor. Uh, it was a big yeah. welt on your ass. No, the whole thing. Let me I see. fell. Pull off your No, shorts. no, no. I I fell, and and I passed out. In the in the in the in the why bathroom. Why didn't we read about this? Well, why I didn't did really tell pass anybody. Out in a bathroom. You pa why did you pass out? Because I hit myself so hard, I, I dislocated my How do you shoulder. Do that? How do you hit yourself? He slid on. A I wet slid floor. on a wet floor, and did a tumble, and fell all here. You're lucky you're not paralyzed. Almost broke my hip, Howard. Wow. And then I dislocated my shoulder. I'm sorry to hear that. When and did it's this been, happen? Uh, two Fridays ago. Wow. It was really because I had to go to Joplin, Missouri, to teach a big exercise class. When something like that happens to you, yes, sir. Who are the people that you call? I don't because I don't know a thing about your. Personal I didn't call. Life. I didn't call anybody. Do you not have a loved one who no, you, you I, have no mother I, anymore? Your mother died. No. You have to call his yeah. dogs. Who do you no. call? So your I didn't call anybody. I had to get on a, your life? I had to get on a plane. Who is it? Who are you in love with? Who takes with? care of you? Who takes My care housekeepers. Of you? I'm so sorry. After no, they're, they're wonderful. Them. You would love them, Howard. If you ever came to L.A., you so would love them. So after you injured yourself. Well, I, I, I tumbled. 
Okay, and the weather in Dallas was was tornadoes and You're hurricanes. You're a guy who cares about people. You love people. You love helping Yet people. Yet no one close. Yet you don't have when you fall. Well, and Howard, if injured, I would have called you, you would have just laughed. No, but I'm just an acquaintance. I'm talking about who in your life is is a, is you have no wife. You've, you've yet to marry, which I'll never understand. You're a good-looking man. Oh, you, I'm, you know, I, I don't really think I'm that good. I, I don't. I, You're a handsome man. You're in shape. You have well, everything no, a woman would point. want. I don't, I don't think anybody wants me. You'd have everything a woman would want to share in life, and yet you refuse to get married. Your ass hurts. And... I must found a woman. Uh, Even Richard, I must found a woman. You could find a woman. Are you dating anyone? I hurt so bad, Howard. Can you be nice to me today? Am I not I can being hardly nice? Sit, I, I can nice. hardly sit down. <laughs> but I'm Richard, kind of after nice. Katrina, you were with your family on that special. Right, you, you have a brother. brother. Are you my saying brother, but I'm not going to call my brother. so sore you can't sit down? It hurts. Do we need one of those donuts It's so hurt. I've had ice on. It. I've done heat. I'm serious. I, I Have you it. ever fallen like this? Uh, not like that. No. Did no. you ever get a big bruise? Yes. Okay. I Where? Much, uh, my ass. What? How? I was with a guy. <laughs> oh my God! Robin, well, help silly, me, please. Silly. This guy was into S and M. No, he seriously. Fucking whack me. No, right seriously. On my it it is like the most painful. <laughs> do you want thing. me to rub your ass? No, I do. do you want? Not. Is that what you're asking for? No, you know why? Come, Come over no, here. No, I don't. Get over my knee. I know it hurts. You know I'm in a lot of pain, Howard, and I came here. Come here, I'm going to make it better. No, I came here. Come here. Come no, here and I'll I make can't. it better. Come I here, can't. you'll no, see what I'll hurts. do for it. Robin, look. Show it to Robin. Show her your ass. Oh. Let me see the whole that's thing. That's a big bruise. It's Come so over horrible. Here. Come here, I'm going to make it all better. I just want a little, I just want a little sympathy, <laughs> maybe. You've got it. But you know why I came today. Why? Sit down. <laughs> you need a root beer. A, a root beer will cheer you up. Hey, Richard, help Artie out for one second and before we talk about your personal life and why you why you you have no one in your life. No, I don't want to talk. I want to talk about Congress. I haven't talked to you well, since. I'm going to get to that. And do you know? Oh, can I tell you about Artie? Artie drinks Hawaiian punch <laughs> for Every breakfast. Day. He has five to six Hawaiian punches a day. But I, wait, I heard you all were on a on a nutritional. We're food. On a, we're he's on gained a, ten. He's pounds. gained ten pounds. Yeah, but you all, you have a sponsor now who yeah. you're working with. Isn't the sponsor helping him? No. What, what no, do you we don't have a sponsor. What happened is I, I we're doing a rapid weight loss contest. Who? We all of all of us who are heavy set on the staff. Well, who would myself, that be? Myself, Benji. Benji. Benji Benji's just lost, lost a lot of weight. Uh, on the on this new thing. He did, yeah. yeah. And oh, uh, great. In the, wa in the rapid weight loss contest, I gained ten pounds. <laughs> <laughs> He's hitting three hundred. He weighs two ninety six. Now, we got to figure out what to do here, man, because I'm losing it. <laughs> Already's lighting up a cigarette. Do you, uh, what? <laughs> yeah. This helps with my weight. <laughs> It's not helping. <laughs> Talk to him. He needs help. You Why know, the last you? time well, I was... Don't you find cigarettes help you lose weight, though? That's what helps me Tell him you weight. do heroin, too. <laughs> That's a good way. He's loss. tried it I all. Don't, I don't do that anymore, though. I, 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 do you allow smoking in here? No. <laughs> well, could you put that out, please? I have asthma. <laughs> oh, really? Are you serious? Yeah, oh, I have asthma. very serious asthma. What's asthma? Asthma. Oh, asthma. Oh, asthma. asthma. The last oh, time oh, I was here, Howard, and, yes. and you were so wonderful to help me. so happy to see you. I can't tell you. We were estranged. But you, for many you said years. you were going to take me out with yeah. your with your fiance. Sure. And congratulations! I would love to. Congratulations! Thank you. I'm engaged. How yeah, wonderful! But, the, but that's why I ask you about your life. You got to see the rock. You fall down. <laughs> you hurt yourself severely. Bad. Bad. You pass out. I thought I broke something. And you call a bunch of housekeepers. Why no, are you not, not? Why are you not going to find romance? How old are you now? Honestly, this year. If you don't mind me asking. It's sort of a personal question. How old are you now? And when I hear this music, <laughs> Richard, how old are you? It's sort of hard for me to concentrate. <laughs> I'm worried about you, honestly. Let me guess, you're I, think you're, I think your image publicly is a facade. I think you're lonely. I think you're sad. You think he goes home and yeah. cries? Yes. Yeah. And I know for a fact he's 59 years old. He's never I'll been married. I'll be 59 this year. Wow. wow. You Isn't look that great? You look Do you fantastic. ever dream of finding love? I dream of just helping people. You know, we've gone, we've known each other for a long yeah, but you've time. You've done that. You've done I'm that. I'm doing it every day. I do it every single day till the rest of my life until I die. But what? Our do you obesity take problem. That's your work. What about no, your No, that is my life? that is my life. That is my mission. Like this is your mission. Who's the hottest woman right now? Who, if you could fantasize that you would marry? <laughs> it who? used to be Barbara Streisand. Now yeah, be real it? though. The hottest one, and you could get any girl on the planet, and you know it. I came here to talk about Congress. Uh, we're going to talk about Congress. I'm talking when? about fucking. I'm talking about you putting your penis inside a woman. <laughs> oh, Robin. Uh, Don't yeah. even. Gary. When is the last time Gary? you got Richard, gonna, get over here. Gary. <laughs> Gary. <laughs>
where are you? No, Richard, be serious about your life. Oh. Lock the door. <laughs> <laughs> Richard. Gary. Sit. Sit, Richard. I can't. Sit down. Wait, I want to ask you. I want to tell you something. Let me just move over. You're my favorite guest of all time. No, I know. And I love you. But but let me say this to you. I love you. I love you very much, Howard. Are you comfortable with a man saying I love you? I love you, Howard. And I have loved you for how long? Did your father love you? Oh, yes. He did. He was a wonderful. Were you a loved child? Yes. Then why did you eat so much as a child? What do you think was bothering you? I just have you been in New Orleans? Yeah, it's all food. I, I love, love food. Did you ever go to Mother's? Have there? you been? Oh, Mother's, did you have an issue? poor boy place. I love Growing it, up, did you have some issue that was bothering you that you felt you had to keep like a secret or something? No, I just was right. very unhappy because why? I was overweight, and that's but hard. Why as a were kid. you overweight? Why didn't you? Because I just loved that food. I no, mean, you're ro- no. you're raised in New Orleans, Louisiana. It's all food. Like we I was raised right in the French Quarter. Is running. I was raised five blocks away from Mother. Richard, you've you know dealt with weight Richard, loss your whole life. You can't be that Richard, naive. You're deflecting. You're deflecting you're my deflecting. answer. You're deflecting my question. What does that mean? <laughs> what was your misery? <laughs> were you hiding anything? Or no, feeling no. Like you I had just really loved. Did I you just, have friends? Uh, probably not. Probably I, I, I'm pretty much saying to myself. Do people yeah. find you annoying when you were a child? Annoying. <laughs> 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 my parents found me annoying. <gasps> a little, like a little. You, I was a, a handful. Bit. But can I talk about something else just you for a second? You look lovely. Let me just for a second. Heavy set, okay. lonely kid in New Orleans. A Confederacy of Dunces was you're about supposed you. To, you're supposed to put the cigarette out. Oh, I'm sorry. Leave him alone. Why did he's heroin? Wait, let me finish. The he's last gambling. I was heroin here. Addict. The last time I was here. <laughs> I got some issues that I'm working through. The, the last time why I was here. Why do you always here, wear a costume? Like, why will you never wear? You're like, a suit? I'm a, like this yeah. is not a costume. No, I mean you work. That out. is so offensive. No, this is not a costume. This is Richard a uniform. Su- okay, f- fair enough. Superman. Why? Spider Man. Wonder Woman. Batman. Oh, I was going to come in in a suit, but I thought you'd make fun of me. When you were a child, I'm, I'm curious. Were you invited? Robin, to, were you invited what, to birthday dear, parties? What? and Robin, sleepovers? help me! He You're supposed he, to be helping me. He no, because said he didn't have friends, Howard. Why? Are you, you never were invited to a birthday party him? or a sleepover. I sort of stayed by myself. You never slept over the other little boys' homes. They never invited oh, you to sleep in their did. in their uh, room with them. <laughs> <laughs> now, why is that funny? <laughs> Listen for a second. Stop for a second. There's a person Stop. on Wait. the phone who wants Stop to date it. you. Stop it. Stop it. Hold it. Let's see if this works out. Jenny, you're on the air with Can Richard I have a Simmons. Water? Yes, please. Hi, Richard. This is Jenny. Jenny, just... good morning to you. Good morning. I've been the biggest fan of yours for so long. He's a terrific I... guy. You're you're so amazing. I just wanted to know if perhaps you would want to go on a date with me. Well, how old are you? Oh. I'm 22 years old. Very. Would you date a 22 year old? <laughs> very not. mature 22. Are you hot? I'm super hot, and I exercise all the time, Richard, and I eat right just for you. Why not make love to? When is the last time you made love to a woman? I'm talking about had good sex. Gary. <laughs> Gary. Why won't you entertain Ga- this? You're not, you're so because I am focused sex? on. I am focused on. <laughs> Gary, <laughs> get over here and talk about your ass. It's not about sex, Richard. I just find you very sweet and attractive. Oh, What's I never thought of my. Th- you know, you're. You sound you like a panic. Beauty- because I, I, you know, I don't. I, I'm not attractive. You know, you I'm are. just sort of you're c- middle. I'm sort of in the middle feel that somewhere. Way? You're oh yeah, gorgeous, Richard. Oh you're yeah, so I'm. Handsome. I'm never. I. I. I don't. Do you think, think she wants you for that. your money? She sounds like a very it's not sweet your girl. Money. I make a lot of money. It's your thighs. That's what does it for me. Your what? Your it's... thighs. I see those your little short shorts that you wear, and those thighs. I can't control myself. Howard. Wow. wow. Cut her out. You want me well, to hang up on her? Thanks for calling. Why do you want to hang up on her? Well, because I wanted you to talk to you about something her? really important. Right, I gotta hang he, up. He, he has no Jenny, interest in dating this woman. He doesn't Wait, want to date you for some reason. No, That's a different I'm one. sure you're a beautiful well, woman, Jennifer. Pussy, Richard. Which one do you like more? Who is this person? All right. Goodbye. Oh, Who was that person? She said the word pussy. I'm so sorry. I know you're a very refined man. I am so sorry. Howard, Ooh, yeah. can, I, can, I, can, can you, you can focus on me for a second, please? I'm glad it's you're not re- dating her, by the way. Well, can <laughs> you focus on me for just a second? Because it's really important why I came. Yeah. The last time I came, when is the I last asked time you, you came? all. <laughs> That's what I'm asking you. When is the last time you came? I knew you were in trouble. You brought Richard, it up. When is the last time you came? 
Gary. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have a Gary, I want to leave now. No, Richard. No, I do because don't you're not. Say that. Well, because I'm trying. I'm trying to make right, a point, ahead. and you won't let me talk no, and do anything. The last time you you came. picked on me. You picked on my shorts. You picked on my no. uniform. You, you picked on my past. You, I'm not picking on you. And you know, curious. I'm in pain. I fell. I can hardly walk. I can't. <laughs> and he's laughing. Howard, Howard, you should at least plug his what he's. Yes, I'm going what, to what Gary. What's why don't you, rush? Gary, get in here? What's wrong? You're supposed to be here with me. Richard, what are you? Plugging. Go ahead. If you want to do I'm it not that plugging. Way. I'm just doing something to try to help our children. Go ahead. I know you have children, and they never really had a weight problem. But the no. majority of people out there have kids, and if you've been watching the news, it's getting worse. Between 2000 and 2005, people who are over 100 pounds, 50% up. 50% up. We're in trouble. Our kids are that's in a trouble. Lot of, that's a lot of fat. Okay, so I came here last time, and I asked you to ask your listeners to come and fill out a questionnaire on my website, richardsimmons.com. Okay. Would you like to know how many from this show alone, how many of your listeners actually went to my website Three, I guess. and filled out the complete <laughs> form? Three. Ooh, how many? Twelve. Thousand wow. people. That's no nice. kidding. My, my 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 hand up. Oh, that's wonderful. Just from this one show. And okay? what did that do? No, wait. So I got seventy thousand questionnaires finished. Yeah. And I flew to Washington last month, and I met with a couple congressmen, Congressman Womp and okay. Congressman Kine, right? And George Miller and uh, all of these wonderful congressmen, and we dropped our first bill in the House of Representatives. It's H.R. 1224. And what does it say? Which is trying to get P.E. back in the school system. Physical education. Under the No Child Left Behind Act, which is going to be reauthorized in May. Now, what happened was five years ago, the No Child Left Behind Act Artie's came. Artie's bored with this. Look at him. Wow. Artie hates this. Why do you hate Are you snoring? Oh, no. <laughs> he slept. He fell asleep? Artie, Artie. He could care less. Artie, let me finish this. Artie, Artie, wake up. Let me finish this. <laughs> okay. Artie, all right. about the children. I'm sorry. So I went to Fizet. Congress in a nice suit. I actually went to, to, on the, you know, to see Congress. They let me in. I, I went to all and met all these congressmen, and we dropped our bill. No, are schools not having phys ed anymore? Uh, the majority of schools don't have it. Some no. have it 15 minutes a week. Because I was trying to explain in the No Child Left Behind law, it is reading, math, and science. And they took a lot of things out. Fifteen states, Howard, don't have recess for the children. Uh, Richard is right. No it is lunch? very important. No recess, no recess. No, they have lunch. They still have lunch but already. It's Richard okay. is right that, that Jim... You know, I, I always hated gym class when I was a kid, but because they, they had shitty teachers, right? Really. And they, they were sadists. You. They it would was torture you. It was a torture you. fest. Uh, but if they had somebody there who could motivate kids and th teach and, them that it should be a part of their everyday life, and then it you was fun what? to exercise, it would be very good. So, you're, you're absolutely okay, right. Okay, so I but went. What about you? I What's dropped taking care well, of Well, let me let me finish this, please, Howard. This is this is the most important crusade I've ever had in my life. I mean, uh, no one is. Everyone's talking about the obese kids. No one seems to be doing anything about it. You're a good man that way. I, I you know believe what? you're sincere. Mom works. Dad works. They're not going to get it at home. The only place they are is in the school for seven, eight hours. Some schools have extended it to nine hours. It's all about getting our kids ready for jobs that will compete with kids all over the country. So now I've come back and I wanted to ask you, you can go to my website, richardsimmons.com, and you can press on and they'll tell you who your congressman is. I'm asking your listeners, and I know they're busy, yes. if they could come to richardsimmons.com and if they could just... Find their congressman. There's already a letter written. All they have to do is email it. Okay, and, fair enough. And, and, and I've gotten 16,000 people to do that so far. Well, we're voting for Sanjayo. We can do this as well. Yeah, we can vote for Richard. We can Bill. vote for Richard. So, we will so back you. We'll back you. Listen to me. It's richardsimmons.com. You don't have it's to right beg. There in the you don't have to beg. We'll do it. If I say we'll do it, we'll do it. My listeners will do it. They're not assholes. And, and, and wouldn't it be great if we could knock out obesity in children so they don't grow up to be obese teenagers yes, and obese would. adults? Well, I will go and recommend to my audience that they call, I mean, that they get on richardsimmons.com 
and get in touch with their congressman. That's, they, they don't have to beg. No, I, well, I, you know, this right. means so much to me because now, I was a little so fat much, kid. And I, and, and I didn't take P.E. But the P.E. I'm doing for schools is different than sports, Were Robin. you embarrassed in P.E.? Were you, I didn't go. You I didn't go. You skipped out. Yeah, I had very serious asthma. A lot of people in New Orleans because of the water. Were you embarrassed to get undressed in P.E.? I was. I didn't like I to. Never, I never took P.E. I went to the locker room and I didn't want to show my penis. Were you like the last picked if there was ever a game, game to be played? Nobody picked. Probably picked you. Oh, well, I was I really know. happy, Robin. I still think no one picks oh. him. That's what I'm. That was what I was getting at. <laughs> you have no, you fall on your ass and you almost kill yourself, and and no one is there to pick up the pieces and love you. What's going to well, be with your life? Well, you know, I got up. I, had dogs, to, I was supposed to catch another nice. plane, and, and, you know, I had to go to Missouri, and I ended up staying over, and then I had to go to Arkansas. You don't have to a drive significant to Jocko, other? Missouri. It's just sort of me. It's me and, and my dogs and my housekeepers and... And I have a beautiful life. All right. If that's what you say. You know, do you vacation, sad. Richard? You didn't answer that. Well, you know. Uh, I in, never see you in the tabloids in, on vacation. In, with in that two, no, I don't go away. Oh, no. I'm, I'm taking uh, several hundred people on a cruise to lose. Right. Uh, in April. And, uh, Noah, and you will not share your stateroom with anyone. You will be there by yourself. Well, I have I have hundreds of men and women that weigh 200, 300, no, but I'm 400, saying, you, you won't have 500 pounds. You won't have a lover. And I'm you? with these people. Really, from six o'clock in the morning. You don't hide from them till ten your... o'clock at night. No, I would hide from them on the boat. I have like a hundred diabetics. I have, oh. I have people who are so sick and because they fork of their weight. A lot of money, these diabetics. And it's, oh, yeah. and, and it's how much are you worth now? Honest to God, <laughs> Richard, talk to me about your net worth. You're the wealthiest person. No, Robert. you're no. the wealthiest I one. Somehow it's think all you over are. the newspaper. How much money in the stock? He's got to have eighty million. Bucks. You're fabulous, and I think he's worth Matt. way more than eighty he million dollars. He said housekeepers. Really, so Matt? He has several several people helping. Can I say what I think Richard Simmons is worth? Okay. Okay. Two hundred million dollars. Oh, Whoa. Whoa! What do you think of that? Am I off? Am I off? You're low. Why did you ever <laughs> go public with your company? I mean, you could. I mean, you've got products. <clears throat> you know, I, I, I had it. M my whole dream was to help other people who were overweight to. Right. You didn't do it for to, the money. To love themselves right. and to respect themselves and to feel good about themselves. Are you going to cry? No, yeah, in this. But no, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> Robin. In this country, yeah. in this country, overweight people. Two hundred million dollars. Am I off? overweight people are treated like garbage? Am I off on Well, if the everybody's money? overweight, who's treating people like garbage? Richard says I'm low. Pardon me? I know. I said if everybody's <laughs> overweight, who's treating everybody like garbage? Well, the no, I'm not saying people. that everyone's overweight, but you know, in our country, you were judged by the pound. What that's do you do with true. all that's that money? Very do you sad. want a plane? Do you own no, a jet? Howard, no. Do you, how many homes do you, you have? Do you fly commercial? Yes, I do. You do? Yes. Robin, well, yes. can you I don't? jump in here a second? Yes. I know for a fact, because Richard used to tell me, when he flies, not only does he fly commercial, generally first class, I think he buys the seat next to him because he has a lot of work to do, and oh. he can't be, you know, if people interrupt him, he can't write his letters and stuff. So he buys two seats. Yeah, what but people, work people come do? sit next to me all the time, and I try to help them. You know, I was on the plane <laughs> coming here to New York yesterday, and this man came to talk to me, and his daughter is... Was seven, he hot? His 17-year-old oh. daughter is 290 pounds. She's 5 oh, feet 1. Right. Sake. Yeah, but Howard, come on, be a little sympathetic about this. I mean, this. for God's sakes. And I so mean, he said, would you call my daughter? And no, I, I, said, I am sympathetic. I, uh, I said, of course I'll call her. And so, you know, when I get to my room, no matter what city I'm in, I make my phone calls and I try to make people feel good about themselves and give them some hope. Who are you uh, dating? What is the woman's name? I know if a guy with it's 200 a million. It's secret. You think he just doesn't. Is he like a rock star? And yes. his fans knew that he was attached? No. He's like Eddie Van Halen. I see. No. Of the chubby set. <laughs> I sleep with dogs. My I don't call these women dogs. No. <laughs> Britney Spears is not a dog. She's a girl. <laughs> be a little sympathetic to these women. He must be with Britney Spears. <laughs> Can, what do you think of the whole I miss thing? Do you uh, follow that story at all? You know, I've never watched him or heard him. He's very ugly. Uh, but you would have to agree. If you're going to be serious, if you're not going to be serious about this, oh, I'm I won't being, get to it. Well, I'm being very, We're very serious. very serious about this. It, it was. It was not good. Not good. I when it was I worked really with him, not good. I used to go on the air. And, Did you work with him? Yes, I worked at NBC at the same Radio. Building, yeah. If you ever saw my movie, you'd know that. Now, and were you friends? No, uh, he was not nice to me. He and was then, not nice. And then to you? he sucked up to me when he saw my ratings go up, and he emulated a lot of the elements of my show. Took but them. The day that I saw this man, 
walked through the halls of NBC. He went up to a black receptionist and called her a nigger right to her <gasps> face. That is not true. true. It is absolutely true. Absolutely true. Why did he do that? And I've said that all along. Why? Because he's, he's whacked out of his skull. And a uh, lovely girl, name was Brenda. Robin knows about this. And uh, I, in fact, he doesn't deny it. And yeah, he was confronted by Larry King about this. Yeah. And he said, it's probably true. He couldn't say no. So I think this is what's in his heart. You know, I really do. And uh, I know, you know, I, I have a shocking radio show, but I, I don't have those feelings about people. Do you think that he, people will forgive him and he will? I think he's done. Yes. I think he's done. We can only hope. <laughs> No, I'm not, and it's not wishful thinking. I, you know what? I, who, I'm not looking for people to be miserable. I am telling you, I think he's done. I don't see how he can get out of this one. Really? And he should never have apologized to Reverend Al Sharpton, who's a big racist himself. Well, maybe, seriously, Robin, maybe he is sorry. Maybe oh, he I'm is. sure he's sorry now. Oh, yeah. But for what reason? But, yeah, but, he's I'm, sorry because it's working out so badly for yeah, him. Yeah, but do, I think in his inner heart, don't you think he's sorry for what he just said? Richard, yesterday he went on the Al Sharpton radio show and he tried to apologize and his apology wasn't being accepted. And he finally ended by saying, I can't win with you people. With you people. <laughs> That's right. It's not a good well, apology. I just hope God forgives him and I hope that he's able to pick up the pieces because we all want there people. There is no God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that right, awake. Artie? I'm in a bad uh, way now. <laughs> What's wrong with you, sweetie? The I am his comments. Did your ass hurting? I can't think of it. I can't get over this. You can't get over what? It's been a rough morning for me. Well, take off your glasses and let me look in he your can. eyes. He can. He's on heroin. Artie? <laughs> I can't. The fat has gone Artie, into my eye. Artie, Artie, <laughs> take off your glasses. Let me look in your eyes, please. Look in his eyes, Artie. Artie, come on. Give him a break. If, uh, let if him I see can your look at your please. ass. Hi. <laughs> 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 See how uplifting Richard you know, is. The last no, I, time, actually, he's a very positive force. Last yes, time I was here, yeah. I said to Gary, "You're bullshitting me. You're going to call me." You don't no, wait. Call. I said, "No, Aww. Gary, come in here." I called Gary and said, "When he want, you know my number. When he wants to talk with me, because I don't, you said you I don't push. Call me. I don't push. I waited by the phone. With you, a did not, he's hopeless. you did not. You did not. No, he's not. Don't say it. that. He is. Don't say he's he says hopeless. This to me every day, Richard. No, he's I'm evil. please, Howard. <laughs> don't say that. He's hopeless. Ha hopeless. Howard, please don't say it. I'm saying it. He can't lose weight. Gary has my number. If, many if, if when I'm you are ready, addict. when you are really ready to do something, Richard I will help you. help you. Richard would help you. You know, I'll put a program together for you. Pick an American sport. I'll beat you at it. You won't score a point. Pick See, this is sport. where he goes every time. Go ahead. Play. Okay, what's your favorite sport? What do you like? Squash. <laughs> You're in pain, aren't you? Yeah. yeah. Stick ball, 30 nothing. You'll never get up. Basketball. Let's say hi to some people on the phone. Mark, go ahead. You're on with Richard Simmons. Now, for more information on Richard's campaign to bring gym class back to schools, go to richardsimmons.com. Schools really don't have a gym class. Yeah, they don't, don't have PE. Anymore. Thank you, That's Howard. what he told I you. Yes. Mark, that. go ahead. That's what PE is? Physical education. Mark, good morning. Howard, Richard, I'd like to thank you for coming back and enjoying the show. You might be my favorite all-time celebrity guest. You have the greatest sense of humor in the studio. Howard, I want to know, what do you think is Richard's all-time best moment involved with the show. Personally, I loved when you guys dangled the food out of the ceiling. Mark, <laughs> Mark. That is a classic. No, Mark, you I'll tell you what the classic. I'm what is the classic? <clears throat> ass hurts, but... My classic. <laughs> what did you just say? I said, I'm loving today's whole ass hurts, but... <laughs> And then he fell. Yeah. Uh... That, that welt, I don't think, was from falling, oh. personally. <laughs> Where's the welt? Again? I've seen welts it's on like his that. Hip. Oh, no, my whole. My I've whole... seen welts like that in porno films. That's no, so it let is, me see it. It is so no, 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 Howard. I'm oh, in no, such pain. Here. Why Richard, can't you have respect here. for my it's pain? A, it's a come cylindrical here. You know what our favorite well. moment me. was? Come near me. Come here. What? You know what our favorite moment was? Uh-oh. Do you remember, Robin, <laughs> when I put those fake tattoos on and I put the little brown wig and the mustache? <laughs> yes. That was great. And he didn't know it was me. <laughs> was I that, didn't. Was that unbelievable? You were amazing. We you were, were great. Then. You're and I have a picture of us together in, in, in my living room. You dressed up like a man. I remember that. That was wild. And... <laughs> Really, he did. I'm not being funny. Like, well, a man? What is he? 
No, I dressed dress up like, like a, a I dressed up like a, a, a rough Let's guy. Let's stop pretending. Richard's not the most macho guy on the planet. He's <laughs> very he, he embraces both sexes. Dressed and up like a ruffian. You're yes. sometimes very womanly and sometimes manly. Womanly. Yeah, he, he relates to both sexes. Oh, That's why people stop like it. him. Is that I'll a bad go, thing? Howard. Whoa. I just wanted to say no. That was no, wrong. no, it's that okay. Was wrong. Stop, wait, right. let me apologize, Sal Sharpton. No. Richard, wrong. Richard, Richard, you appeal to both sexes. No, if you want me to call and help you, you let me know. My favorite moment was. Richard, come here. Come no, Richard, here. Don't come leave on, like Richard. this. Richard, 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 you're making a mistake. Don't leave like this. Oh, I knew Howard would goodness. get out of line. Did I say Richard, something wrong? Yes, you said he was womanly. Richard. Yes. No, he might have, you know, some... Female tendency. We all do. What? Female tendency. He, well, don't we all? But you can't call him womanly. He made out with Sandra Bernhard at the Channel 9. I love the guy. Time. Why did he leave like that? He, he, he because you hurt him. You I don't want to hurt him. called him a woman. <laughs> no. He did not. <laughs> he did. I did not he call he, him. You did. I said he, he appeals. You said, you said he was womanly. Don't you? didn't say he appeals. You he said you're womanly. To both Brad, sexes. Well, Brad that was Pitt after is womanly. you say, oh, please. Uh, that was after you said he was womanly. Hardy, did I say something wrong? I think Honestly. Richard, you called him a bro. Yeah. No, I did. Going, I loved Richard. It. I'm going to go out and say something. You said that, uh, I'm well, going to bring him back in here. Wait, wait, actually, wait, then you said you appealed to both sexes. Oh, there he is. He's out the door. Out the door. Out the door. You could go that way and get him. Hurry, hurry, hurry. He's in the area. They got to stop. Go, 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 go. Out the way. He doesn't even know where to go. Follow Gary. <laughs> tell Lisa to tell Lisa Please, to pin him hurry, down. Hurry, Howard! He's in the elevator. No, no, don't let him go. Do not let him go. Why are you guys elevator. just standing there? Oh, my Camera God. guys, oh, stop the door. Oh, stop! Will somebody stop? Will someone him? go? Stop it! Oh, Richard, Richard. Greg is standing there. Oh, there he is. Open the Richard, door. Don't leave like that. The poor oh, guy has to go downstairs. Don't leave like that. There he is. Go, I'm gonna go. What do you mean like that? I'm okay, Howard. Richard, come on. The guy coming back in the elevator is having a great time. <laughs> <laughs> really? Are you real? Richard. Oh, he's please. just okay. Oh, Richard, come on. Guy in the elevator is on his please way to work. You see Howard Stern consoling Richard, a crying Richard. Richard. Come on. Come back in. I want to call it. For real. Oh, Richard, no. please. Don't, don't go. I'm ready to go. Oh, come on, Rich. Come on, man. <laughs> Massage is Richard, back. Come on. Hey, come let the guy go. He's got to get down to a county. Tell him to come out of the elevator at least. That guy's got to go. Oh, no, no, no. Come on. Tell him to come out of the elevator. Come back in. I want to talk. <laughs> we want to talk about this. <laughs> all right. I'm sorry. Yeah, sure. I, I feel awful. It's all right. You're calling right, a chick. I'll leave you alone. Yeah, I mean, how do you get over that? <laughs> What? Tim said you. Oh, Tim is going to ride down with him. I hope, oh, I hope you're all right. Tim knows how to handle this. Yikes. Tim's chubby. By the time Tim gets out of there, he'll be, he'll be a svelte 180 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Richard's going to have I, him exercising. I thought the days of Richard Simmons leaving in tears was over. Oh. I actually feel bad. Should I feel bad right now? I feel bad. Well, you didn't do it. No, but I don't know. It, it's something about that guy. He gets to you. He, he's very hurt right now. Mm. Has he ever left the studio without crying? I don't think so. <laughs> Well, yeah, he always cries. <laughs> That's like a exit. Really crying. Good try, Yeah, he's Howard. really crying. That? Yes. How funny we was the guy in the elevator? We heard and saw it all. What? We about... heard and saw it all. Oh, you did good. Yeah. yeah. I, I mean... How did... about the guy in the elevator who's going on his way to work and sees you consoling Richard Simmons? <laughs> we know that guy. <laughs> oh, we do? Good. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Did I say something so terrible? No. Yes. I did? I I'm mean, sorry. I mean, like he... if somebody I'm very feminine. called you a woman? I that am didn't a woman. Say you had feminine tendencies. He so. said, you, said you are a woman. So I said you're womanly and manly. I'm trying to no, remember. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. You did not. Play it, the tape. It went like <laughs> I'm trying to remember how it sort of ramped up because you said you, he. I feel said, awful. He said my favorite time was when I dressed up like that, and you said you dressed up like a guy. Right, right. and I'm like, how can you call say he dressed up like a guy? Like, what is he? And, and then you then said he's said, very womanly. Well, he's like a yeah, woman. he has feminine tendencies. Right, That's very... not what you said. He's womanly. I, I'll stand by you that. You said, let's face it, he's not the most macho, macho, macho yeah. guy. I know tons of guys. I think he'd be the first one to admit that. Yeah, me but too. But the thing is that Howard just said you're womanly. He is. And he is, that's though. not a very nice thing to say. Why is that I'm bad? I'm sure when you were talking to him about his early years, he heard that a lot. Oh, gee, I don't know. Why would he hear that? 
Why would he hear that? Yeah, right. I don't think he's changed. But what's wrong with being womanly if that's what he if is? If you're a kid growing up, you don't want to be taunted about, you oh, know, not I was, being... I didn't mean it tauntingly. But I'm to, just saying it no. probably was a throwback to his earlier years. He grew up a fat chick. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it was you guys speculating on those marks on his buttocks. Well, that didn't help, I'm right. sure. We didn't get I'm having he a was, good time with he him. Was, he was being uh, hammered at that point. He left very upset. <laughs> Man, and I, I love the really guy. Like... I, I said he was literally bawling out there. Yeah. He's a good guy. I, I really feel awful. And, and I said, I thought that the days of Richard Simmons leaving here crying mm. were over, but apparently Guess they again. aren't. I, you know, I am it was so bad with him. I am awful, bad with him. Awful. awful. I, I, I apologize profusely. I love I the guy. I guess you're going to have to go on <laughs> Yeah. I'm going to have to go to Al Sharpton today. <laughs> to apologize to Richard Simmons. Yeah, I meant no, nothing by No, you should call it. him later today. I will. He said he'll come back when he feels better. Which but will you be... should call him and just I will. say, you know. I will. I feel terrible. I mean, the guy was re- he he wasn't acting. No. He was really you upset. You have to apologize to Harvey Firestein. I would apologize to Richard. Never who's, mind who's, Harvey Firestein. Go on out. No, that's wrong. Wrong, wrong, Tim, wrong. Did I didn't you, mean uh, that. Tim. It's yeah, Al Q. Robin. What do they have to do with this? <laughs> Tim, how are you? Good. He he was crying all the way down, and, oh. and I tried to consult, and he just he says no, no, no. He just and he walked out. So oh, oh, I I, I don't understand what happened. Did you tell him you lost two pounds? Ten, Hardy. <laughs> did uh, you lose ten? Yeah, I did. Oh, okay. Teaspoon out of the ocean. But, right. Know, but he, he was he was visibly shaken, and you know I, he's such a good guy. Yeah. I and, really and feel he, bad. Uh, please uh, support his. Uh, campaign to get P.E. back in the schools. Yes. Go to RichardSimmons.com. Honestly, I hated P.E. when I was a kid. I wish they, they would have taken it out of my school. Oh, stop <laughs> it. But you he's right. had to learn to add exercise to your life afterwards. I did. Instead of having it there all along. I don't believe in the torture that goes on in these oh, I feel places. awful. I can't go on with the show. Howard, did I think really you recall, to- do you have a cell phone number for him? He won't answer my phone call. He might. I don't have a cell phone for him. I don't really... Maybe Gary had. I was excited that he came back on the show, and I fucked it all up. I know. You probably... We won't see him for another 10 years. You sure you just didn't have somewhere to go? Oh, hey, stop he it. He did. Well, you know what? It is... It, I mean, he did have to leave at 645. But yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, uh, he did. He had to get out of here. But I hope he wasn't pulling my leg. Oh, that didn't look like... He, he no. didn't, you know, cry at the door and then walk to the elevator. He was crying all... like in the, in the elevator in the lobby leaving he had his back to me the whole time and he was you know crying on the way down and dabbing his eyes with his tissue uh, and uh, when he got in the elevator got to the le- you know the lobby it opened then he a- absolutely just rushed out and rushed out in the lobby so that was it so I think it was sticky and uh, that's basically it I think he was sticking it up and you know he saw the clock in there and he knew he had to go and that was his dramatic way of, of taking care of that. Yes, he's a he's a drama queen. Give him a message. Don't come back. I don't know. Hey, Robert. Yeah. Do you think there's any truth to his, uh, you know, Richard being upset and crying and storming out, or do you think that was a little bit of shtick, a little bit of? It might, you know, with Richard, it could be a little bit of shtick, but it could also be shtick that started from hurt feelings. It's hard to tell with him. I thought he was really crying, but. The fact that he said he had to go at 6.45 and that was about the same time he... I know, that's a little suspicious, isn't it? I I can't believe he can keep such a good eye on the time and know when to go out crying. That that would be a true performer, I think. And when Tim followed him and went down the elevator with him, he cried the whole time. That's so, true. I don't know. Can he turn on and off the waterworks like that? He should be, you know, in Hollywood acting. Artie, do you think that was a uh, sort of a bullshit storm out by, by Richard today? Yeah, I think he had a good ass fucking going on somewhere and didn't want to miss it. <laughs> you two were really starting to click this morning. I, I was. Are you upset that he left? Or? Uh, no, I was kind of happy. No, I, he's a good guy. He's a great guest. And um, I just don't like to be judged for my appearance. You know? I find myself to be beautiful on the inside. How are you, right? Me? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> oh, wow, thank you. <laughs> I was listening to the wrap-up show.
Were you? What, was there a problem? Yeah. Uh, no, it's just, I feel bad, like... About what? Artie writes paychecks. Like Artie just writes money to everyone. No. Like when yeah, he wants to solve something. No, no, no. I don't write money to everyone. Like he didn't diet for the weight loss, so he just writes a check to everyone. How many checks did you write? What yesterday? happened was I I I yelled that and out because I thought it. it would sound funny. You know, mm-hmm. it's I, I I didn't get into this. I feel guilty, so I'll just give you a grand. And when you say something like that on the air, you're like, well, fuck, I I don't want to be a welcher. And so I just wrote two people checks for a thousand bucks. Then then because Sal fell off the stage at in Tampa. Yeah. Artie wrote him a big check. That's no. amazing. What <sighs> happened was <laughs> hey, what's that it's all? About? That wasn't supposed to get out. The, the weirdest thing happened. I told Sal, you know, like, let's just not mention this to anybody. And then Jim McClure must have had some sort of mind meld. He just brought it up on the air as a scenario. And I'm like, how did you know that? And I thought maybe the Sal want me uh, me to talk about. Why this. didn't you want anyone to know? Well, just because because of what's happening right now, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Who cares? What? I, how much I, money did you have to write him? When Sal got hurt and came in here and was like, uh, you know, I got to take the kids to Disney. It's paid for already. Blah blah blah. I felt bad because I I made quite a bit of money at the Tampa gig. And this particular gig, I didn't have to pay my agent commission because Levy and myself ran it. Mm -hmm. So I just went up to Sal. I gave him less money than I wanted to give my my agent commission. I said, I feel bad. Uh, Technically, I sort of produced it and you got hurt. So I'll pay for Disney for you. That was it. You know, it was a few thousand dollars. But it's like, you know. Oh, that's nice, yeah. I just. But he already had Disney paid for. It. You know what he did with the money? What? He, he hired an aide to walk around with him. <laughs> I, I well, when the in the situation, I figured it could help. You know, so that but that's the, that and the weight loss thing. It's no other. You know, I'm not sitting around just handing out money. Are yeah, you all right? <laughs> Everything cool? No, I'm not all right. Not feeling any urges or anything? <laughs> About what? You know, the, the... Big H. Oh, whoa, oh, oh. whoa. Well, I mean, every day. Yeah. Know. It's you're a still, struggle every day. You're still taking that drug that keeps you from craving heroin? Not as much. Good for you. Not How often do m- you take it? Um, <laughs> the arty saga. It depends on if I need it. You know, I feel like... It, like uh, Is it like a vitamin or you take it when... <laughs> a vitamin? <laughs> yeah, it's like a vitamin, Robin. <laughs> One a day? You know what's great about it is if you're going into a situation that might be a high-risk situation. Like, like what? on the road or something? On the road. Uh-huh. Um, and there's certain cities where I knew it was easier to get than others. If you take that. It, so Vegas, you take it. Yes. Because <laughs> you don't have any be- more physical cravings, right? Well, yeah, I mean, you don't have withdrawal symptoms. No, no, that's gone. Yeah. But, you know, it's, it's like... Uh, did you ever uh, actually? Who had, who had the who had the funny? Just not a funny quote, but a fan. I think Charlie Parker had a quote about heroin. He was like, "They can get it out of your body, but they can't get it out of your mind." <laughs> so when you, wait, do, I remember what it was like. You know. Did you take that pill for so long that it just stopped all your cravings, or did you have to go through like a an intense detox eventually? Well, this that's what uh, the pill avoids. So you never had to go through the horrible. Oh, I did. The, I did oh. years ago. Yeah, but not I, but not this time around. Yeah, I was about three quarters of a way through it and I, I reached out for this guy in desperation and he said you don't have to do that I, there's a new drug I, I, I went through like um, you got to get through like four or five four to five days is the hell if you get past the fourth day you've come through the worst of it and then it's just a matter of you know getting fluids back and just you know cuz i mean something fun yeah it's it's horrible but um so around the three and a half days in i got this drug so i'd gone through some shit um but what i do is if i'm going in a high risk thing you take that you can't get high from heroin ah. it blocks the high so it's not an option you could get it. It's worthless. Yeah. And he, right. It so would do nothing. If I'm going, like, say, to Vegas, I'll take If he's take going that. to, let's say, like, work. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm going to be in Manhattan. Because uh-huh. <laughs> heroin is nowhere except on the road. Or in the Manhattan area. Right. You know, where Any it's in stressful abundance. situation. Yeah, well, what are, you know, you take it and you know, look. <laughs> See Artie popping that pill every five minutes. <laughs> it's just not an option because it's not, I'm not going to get an eye from it. Wouldn't it be great I'm if they so could do that with shocked. food? Like, if you had a pill you could take, take so you, didn't it, you crave could it. Not- 
eat food. Well, now they do it with this fucking stomach thing. I refuse to ever do that. Though. No, you don't need that. You know, Beth was saying the other night, Artie's such a good looking guy. And I go, do you really mean that? Do you think Artie's handsome? Because when he's thin, he's very good looking. So why are you telling me he doesn't need the banding? He could get to a point. if he. That would be so depressing. If he goes to uh, 400. All right, 400, we're getting him the band. Oh, I don't see how that's possible without, I want to explode now. I don't know, how, where am I going to put another 100 You're only 100 pounds away. You're not that far Ooh, off. That's a lot, man. 400 is going to be really depressing because that's going to be like you physically can't right, even walk. Then you're, you're Do you think Dominic was ever 400 pounds? No. No. See, because another 100 pounds, I couldn't imagine that right now. <laughs> like, where the fuck is it going to go? Where does it go? I wonder what you'd look like. Oh, oh, no. Could you get up to 400, no. you think? Oh, no. I might want to see that. Man. I don't think so. And then Sal told this story on the wrap-up show. Oh. He was at Disney World, and um, I guess he, because of all the Vicodin he was taking for when he fell off the stage, yeah. he took a bunch of stool softeners because he hadn't shit in three days. Oh. So he took four oh. stool so- softeners. <laughs> he never got back to the toilet in time in his hotel room. Oh. He shit all over oh. the floor. Oh, all over no. The- <laughs> then he oh. had to clean it up, that, that arm in the cast. one hand. <laughs> And then his wife came home and realized he didn't <sighs> clean it up good enough. And no wonder she doesn't fuck him. I mean, he was calling her to help him clean up his shit. Oh, Every story man. ends with her just saying, I don't care about you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it's too much. Because he was wow. telling the good, you know, everyone's got their funny shit stories. Mm-hmm. So it sounded like he was just telling a funny shit story. But then the whole point of it is... <laughs> Uh, uh, Sal's wife not wanting to help him in any way. <laughs> is this the heaviest you've ever been in your life? Absolutely. It's yeah. not even close. What's going close. on? I mean, like, you're pretty happy. Your, your work life's happy. Your, your you're career. gambling again? Career, career-wise, no. I've never been... What do you think's going on that you're eating uh, More so successful than, than I am right now. But uh, You going to the shrink still or you stopped? No, I haven't gone in a yeah. while. And you're trying to date women. You think... Uh... I bid. That's the other problem. I've been dating them. So I'm on a bit of a roll. It doesn't <laughs> deter your uh, activity. I, I found when I was fucking new chicks, it was like I wanted to look good, you know? Because when I take my clothes off, it's kind of embarrassing. I figured yeah, that would motivate you. I don't know. Uh, for so some you ever like this? I'm mechanism? beyond caring about that. Really? Like when you take your clothes off when you're with a new chick, do you ever go, shit, I wish I was thin? Yeah, sure. Yeah. But I, you know. But you're not giving up the you food. You get over it. The boner. Takes you know, over. You know what the problem is? Women are still putting out for you. You're getting too That's famous. It. That's what I just said, yeah. If they would stop putting it, Okay, women. <laughs> we gotta you got to stop fucking Artie. It's the only way he's going to get healthy. I mean, you know, chicks are... It's their fault. If the pitching is horrible, you're not going to become a better hitter. <laughs> what? <laughs> I, I, uh... Yeah, I don't know. I just, it's about laziness and just enjoy. I'm in a rut of in the afternoons just ordering food and eating while I'm watching TV. What is it replacing? I mean, really, what are you, what is the hole that you're trying to fill? Heroin Heroin or relationship? Can we we bring up something else and get Artie off the hook here? Sanjaya, he's got to become the American Mm. Idol. Absolutely. It's the only way this is going to be good now. (laughs) We're, we're this far into it. We got to make him the guy. Yeah. Uh, he's got to be it. And, and you know when they were saying, oh, it's impossible for him to win and the producers to, uh, uh, will be beside themselves? That's what I want to see. It's almost right. like... they should be beside themselves. I mean, how much fun is it watching Imus lose his job? How much fun would it be for American <laughs> Idol to totally get fucking ruined? To see Simon's face. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, when they make him uh, one of the final three. Oh, it's going to be great. Oh, my goodness. It's going to be the greatest day you could ever have lived through. What, what is it? Every what, Tuesday night now you vote yeah. or something? Yeah. Tonight we vote. Tonight we Tonight vote. is the performances and then you vote. And Tonight you it's up to us. do it on the phone? Or, uh, no, you, you could do it. Can you do it on the internet or no. you have to no, text No, you can message. text message, but yeah. forget that. No, I don't you even, can't text I can't even text message. What does that mean? You don't know how to text message? <laughs> no. I finally figured out how to get them. <laughs> and that's a mistake. See, this is my point. That's a mistake. Now I got a million of those to fucking check every night. <laughs> Billy, you're on the air. Hey, Howard, I just wanted to thank you. I am... Um... A while ago, when you started talking about Sanjaya, I went on the internet, and me and my buddy, we bet on him. Now, right. if, Really? If Sanjaya wins now, we win $30,000. How much money did you put up on the bet? Um, we each put up 200, 200. 200. Imagine the odds of back then. Remember when we first started talking about this and everyone said it's impossible? See, you know yeah, what, He put dude? down 200 stupid bucks. He's going to wow. win 30 grand. Well, you see, but now's a bad time to start talking no. about it because he's still got to win. Yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. So it's, it's yeah, don't count the money yet. 
No, 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 we haven't come. Yeah, don't yet, go out but, uh, and spend it already. Yeah, but it no, looks that, good. I mean, yeah, I, I, I mean, believe they, tonight we're going to really get out there and vote. I know I am. I am, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we've been voting all the time. We tell our buddies to vote and everything. But if, if you go on now and, and you bet on them, $100 makes you like 800 now. So it's odds are way down. Right. Way down, yeah. I'll never forget yeah. that. In 1982, in the NCAA tournament, a gym teacher I had um, bet was in Las Vegas and put $100 down on Georgetown to win the national title. Patrick Ewing was a, f- a freshman, uh-huh. and no team from you know the Big East had even come close. So the last game, our Georgetown, North Carolina, right? Right. <laughs> we all went over to my friend's house, and the guy came over, and we're all watching the fucking game. Now he's going to win... He would have won twenty grand. Wow! He put a hundred dollars down. So it's a close game. This is when Jordan was a freshman and Patrick Ewing were freshmen. Uh, and uh, uh, Jordan comes down and hits the fucking as a freshman, just ice in his veins. Boom! Twenty five footer nails it. The place goes nuts. But now Georgetown had scored with Ewing in the middle the whole fucking night. They had to come back up, hit a basket. And it would have gone into overtime, and odds are with Ewing they would have won. And uh, a guy on Georgetown, this guy Freddie Brown, basically just, it almost looked like a fix was in. The gym teacher's up yelling, throwing potato chips at the <laughs> fucking TV set. The guy just, like, tossed a little pass to the, to, to the other team. James Worthy, who went on to become a great uh-huh. Laker, was on North Carolina. The guy didn't know what to do. The kid, like, fucking panicked, threw a pass to the other team. The guy <laughs> took it, just dribbled around. Couldn't even believe he gave it to him. Wow. It was like the fix was in, and my, the gym teacher, this is in front of children who he teaches, picked the TV set up and threw it, <laughs> threw it like it took it to the bathroom and threw it in the shower. That's good. He cost, like, he had to pay for the TV. It cost <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> but he would have that. This guy reminded me putting that money down twenty G's. He would have. <laughs> but hey. how many more weeks does that have before Shinjai away? Uh, let's see. It's probably this? eight weeks, maybe seven oh, weeks. Seven, uh, weeks uh, maybe. seven yeah. weeks, maybe. So that's Pedro. a long time. You got to be yeah. diligent. How much do you win? He wins twenty thousand. No, thirty thousand wow. dollars. Pedro, you're on the air. Go ahead. Wow, that's huge. I love stories like that. Yeah, Pedro, you're on the air. I should have I should have put my money where my mouth was too. Pedro, you there or no? Okay, no. Yeah, Pedro. here I am playing the guy with the the odds every week, and it never occurred to me to bet. <laughs> Richard, Richard, <laughs> Richard. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Richard Simmons just walked out. Richard. 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 Where are you going? Where are you going, Richard? Richard. Please come back. Richard, come back. Richard, don't leave. Richard, don't leave. Don't leave. No, please. I, I, want, I want to talk to you. I want to talk to you. Oh, hey, Richard, Richard. Don't leave like that. Richard, don't leave like that. Richard, don't leave like that. Are you serious? Don't leave like that. Come back here. Come on. No, I'm going to go. Why are you being like that? I'm okay, Howard. Just Richard, go. come on. Come back in. Don't the film go like that. I gotta go. Really? Are you being for real? Richard, please. It's okay. Oh, Richard, come on. Please come back in. Richard, Richard, come on. Come back in. I want to apologize. For real. Richard, please. Don't, don't go. I want to go. So bad. Richard, come on. It's okay. Come back in. I, I really meant nothing by it. I'll come to see you again when I feel better. Oh, no, no, no. Come on. You're not feeling it. Come back in. I want to apologize. No, thanks for helping me with my thing with the kids. 
<laughs> all right, I'm sorry. Okay. I, I, I feel awful. It's all right. All right, I'll leave you alone. I want you're right down with me. I'm sure he's okay. All right. All right. I'm sorry, Richard. I hope I hope you're all right. <laughs>